Um, I didn't know Pam when she was at high school, she was in high school. On her first day coming here at Ministry Woods in the Village Control of the Region, we fought an uh, indelible friendship. Um, she would call me her brother. Oh. And also Jeff Cooper, she would call him oh, also. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so we were very close. Um, Palm birthday was in January, and Cooper and I were in February. Mm -hmm. So Cooper and I would go and celebrate her birthday with her. Usually she would take her time off, and so we'd go mm -hmm. to her house and our lunch break and celebrate with her. Mm -hmm. um, in February, on our lunch break, she would tell us to come to the house. Yeah. And she would cook up a meal for yeah. Cooper and I. Mm -hmm. And there we would have um, some of our staff. We may have Ellie Major. She would be with a senior, Natalie Williams, um, and Katie Butler. Mm -hmm. And so we would all um, partake in Pam's ministry cooking. Um, that was the kind of person Pam was. She enjoyed cooking and eating people who try to enjoy it. And um, every morning, you could not pass her door without stopping there and sitting with her and have breakfast with her. That is how, how she did it. She would call me her Franco Lynn and I'll call her my Tom. I'll call her my Tom Merrill. And so that was the type of person she was. Um, so Tom would be greatly missed. And all of us here love her dearly. Um, so on behalf of the Bayman Inspector, I would like to express our condolences to you and your family. Mm -hmm. And um, may you be encouraged and just remember the type of person Tom was. Mm -hmm. And she made her presence felt. Mm -hmm. And so um, with that, um, you can be relieved that she is okay with you. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So I um, would like to say thank you for sharing Tom with us. Yeah. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And um, thanks again. Thank you.